Today's Bible study is found in Matthew chapter 1, verse 10b. Amon became king at age 22, as is recorded in 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 21. And he did not seek the Lord God. He worshipped idols and was killed in his own house. These events can further be studied in 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verses 21 through 25, and 2 Kings chapter 21, verses 19 through 26. Josiah, the son of Amon, as we see in 2 Kings chapter 21, verse 26, became king at eight years old, as stated in 2 Kings chapter 22, verse 1. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as stated in 2 Kings chapter 22, verse 2, and shows us just how far from God his father was, as Josiah is credited with finding the book of the law of the Lord that was hidden in the house of the Lord that had been destroyed by the past kings, as noted in 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verses 8 through 21. We can see that his heart was right with God through his actions as recorded in 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verse 21, as he states, Go inquire of the Lord for me, and for those who are left in Israel and Judah, concerning the words of the book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out on us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord, to do according to all that is written in this book. During the reign of King Josiah, he made a public covenant with the Lord, to follow him diligently with all his heart and with all his soul, as is noted in 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verse 31, as in the New King James Version. King Josiah destroyed all the idols of the country and led the people to serve the Lord diligently all the days of his life, as we see in 2 Chronicles chapter 34, verses 29 through 33. This is the genealogy of Jesus from Manasseh to Josiah. The Bible teaches us in 2 Chronicles chapter 35, verse 18, that no Passover had ever been kept like that of which King Josiah kept. He made a covenant to be dedicated to God with all his heart and with all his soul, and to put into action that which he dedicated to God. Many years later, Jesus made a new covenant as he too kept the Passover with his disciples. He declared in Luke chapter 22, verse 20, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. As Christ took our place as the Passover lamb, he was sacrificed for our sins so that through him we may be forgiven. Not for a moment until we sin again, but for all eternity. We can have the forgiveness of Christ Jesus if we will dedicate our hearts and souls to him. To follow the new covenant that he made through his shed blood for us on the cross. Ask of his forgiveness today and begin living a new life in Christ Jesus, the one who shed his blood for us so that we may live forgiven for eternity in Christ. Dear Lord, through the genealogy of Jesus, we're see seeing that many of the people have sinned in turning from seeking you in their lives, just as many people have done today. But you are also showing us that if we will repent and turn from the evil ways of this world and diligently seek you with all our heart and soul, you will forgive us and give us a new life in Christ Jesus that sets us free from the guilt of sin. Please help us to see the true life that is only found in Christ Jesus, that we too would make a covenant with you to be diligent in our relationship with you and put our faith in Jesus into action that we would bring you glory through our lives, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.